NASA is hoping the second time is the charm. The countdown for the Artemis 1 uncrewed mission around the moon is going smoothly. The issue with engine number three that forced the scrub on Monday appears to have been resolved. What NASA thought was a problem cooling down the engine may not have been an issue at all. It may simply have been a bad sensor. We are not overly concerned. There are multiple other data points that the team is tracking to ensure that they do get adequate cooling on that engine. As you can see, there's a thunderstorm behind me here at the Kennedy Space Center. Weather's fickle in Florida, but the meteorologists with the 45th Weather Squadron say there's a pretty good chance the weather will cooperate for launch. We do expect that with the sea breeze boundary moving inland, we will have some clearing on the back side of it. So it's all going to be reliant on how fast that sea breeze moves in tomorrow. So you might have a, um, uh, an increased probability of, of launch. Overall, it's 50%, right? Overall, it's 60%. 60%. Yes. But uh, we're likely to get to that 80% threshold on the back side of the window tomorrow. So it'll be trending upwards as you get to the to the back side of the window. That is correct. Yeah, the trend will be our friend for sure. We had the opportunity to talk with Jessica Meir, a veteran astronaut who spent more than 200 days on the International Space Station. Meir says this is a big event. I think for something like this, you know, this is a first. This is the first time we've launched this rocket, and we need to get this one right because the next one will have crew members on it. You know, maybe my friends and my colleagues, maybe even me. So we need to make sure this one goes right. So I think everybody is a, a little bit anxious, but we know that we will launch when we have everything right, technically lined up, and if the weather cooperates as well. Mir would love to be one of the astronauts chosen for one of those first lunar landing missions. Now, don't forget to watch the launch on the My Radar app and My Radar social media. For My Radar at the Kennedy Space Center, I'm John Zarella. Follow My Radar on social media Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. Download My Radar on iOS, Android, Amazon Alexa, Xbox, and Windows.